Hi everyone, this is Bruce Kirsch with Valuate Software. Hope you are all well. Today I want to show you quickly how we can use Valuate's back of the envelope analysis calculator to analyze an acquisition of an apartment property. So on the left here we have a listing from Cushman with an $8 million asking price. And let's go ahead and open up the setup that they provide. Zoom in and let's go to the financials. Okay, and so we have this property and what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter it into Evaluate, which is showing in a separate browser window here on the right. And this is 331 East 89th Street. So let's go ahead and get that in real quick. Let's leave this as the base case. Let's start out with their asking price just for curiosity's sake to see where we get. Let's assume a 65% loan to cost 4% interest rate and a five year hold. And let's click create. And so now we're gonna to need to fill in some more details here. And this is 11 units. And square footage is 8,500 approximately. Okay. Let's assume 1% acquisition costs, no renovation budget, 1% loan fee, no MES loan here, and then GPR. Let's go ahead and use the uh, actual to start. And there's no other income. Vacancy, let's put in a 5% vacancy rate, thereabouts and expenses of 78281. Wow, that is really, really ugly. So we have a 3% going in cap rate and it's a money loser in terms of the cash on cash return going in year one. So that's not very cool and we don't really appreciate that in terms of the asking price. Well, if we zeroed out the vacancy, we're still at a loss in terms of, of cash on cash. So. What to do? Well, naturally we gotta put in a lower purchase price. Well, let's see where we get if we're at six million. So now we're at a four cap, and this just barely gets us a 2% cash on cash return. And so depending upon your requirements, that may or may not be sufficient. Um, and so naturally the, the process at this point now is just to keep iterating lower and lower on price until we get to something which is palatable to us. Now what we see here is we see negative leverage, and this is still not where we wanna be because our cap rate's five, but our cash on cash is something lower than five. And so what we wanna have is positive leverage, meaning the cash on cash will end up being higher than 5% cap rate. Okay, and so we can do a couple of different things there to change that. We can either change the loan to cost, lower that, and or lower the interest rate, but I'm gonna leave those as is, and I'm gonna manipulate the purchase price instead. Eventually we'll get to a place where our cap rate is lower than the cash on cash. And so this is starting to look a little bit more appetizing to me. Again, this is the Valuate back of the envelope calculator for apartment properties. Check it out at bote.getrefm.com.